What's up everybody, James here again from Totally Exposed. And in this video, we're gonna be answering the question that comes up all the time. Where do I find wicked songs for my videos? Let's do this. So let's get started with the important stuff. Let's just acknowledge how important music is as part of the creative process as a filmmaker. It's undeniably important, the amount of extra information that you could give to your viewer about your footage based on the music that you choose to use. It's, you know, it's a powerful tool. We all know it's important. There's been studies that are done and all sorts of stuff. You can have the best looking footage anyone's ever seen, but if the audio is absolute garbage, people will not want to watch it. However, you get slightly shaky and an out of focus video, and yeah, it's not ideal, but as long as the audio is good, people will sit around and people will watch that content. Let's have a look at how much you can change the story just totally by changing the music that accompanies your footage. So we did a video a while back ago, I'll put a little link wherever that goes up here. Um, for the A6300, we were testing out its slow-mo capabilities, we were shooting at 100 FPS. Um, and we went to the pub and Neil threw some darts. I've gone back and I've nicked some of the footage out from that and uh, I've just put together a few short clips and I've chosen two very different songs that we can use to get two very different approaches to the footage. So let's have a look at this first one, shall we? It's kind of a sad song, it's kind of, you know, let's run it. So yeah, sad. I mean, maybe he died or something midway through the game. Who knows? It's kind of a bit uh, Debbie Downer, isn't it? But I mean, what if we wanted a whole different vibe? What if we wanted it to be more like a, an American sort of Western bar kind of feel or something? Well, we could do something more like this. So you can see we've achieved a totally different sort of vibe from that video, just from using totally different music, but the same footage. So, you know, it's a powerful tool. So you're there, you've got your footage and you're thinking, man, I can hear this song in my head. The one that I want, I can hear it in my head. How do I go about finding something akin to what I want for my piece, my, my vision? So let's start with YouTube. Now YouTube have their own catalog of audio that you're allowed to use in your videos, your projects, kind of royalty free. Some of it absolutely free. Uh, you can just chuck it straight in, jobs are good in. Some of it you have to give attribution to the artist, but that's fine. Just stick a little link in your video description and uh, you're golden. But the variety on there isn't great and the way of discovering songs is not great. They're somewhat categorized, but mm, if you want a free option though, great place to start. We'll put a link for that in the video description below. Now for some of our other projects, we've also uh, been to services like uh, Audio Jungle, where you can buy individual songs for use on individual projects. Now, if you know I want that exact song and I only use it once and it's only gonna be for this one thing, it's probably, you know, it's not a bad option. We've done it before. We've done it for some commercial work that we've done. Um, a viable option but not that great if you want to use that song again in a different project maybe you really liked it and you want to use it somewhere else uh -uh. no can do you have to go and buy another license all over again because it's one song per project and some of them have slightly different license terms but on the whole that's what's going on there can start to get quite expensive quite fast of that approach but it's worth bearing in mind it's another option so then the third option, we discovered a service called Artlist. Now Artlist, I heard about originally from some other YouTube channels, Film Right, they have talked about Artlist before. Travel Fields have talked about Artlist before. Piqued my interest, so I went on and had a look and then you can start and you can go and browse, you can have a listen to all of the songs, uh, which we did and we were like, wow, this library is really comprehensive and it's really nicely categorized. It's got, you can sort of filter by mood or by the instrument type that you want. If I want loads of acoustic drums in there, then you can pick that. 
Um, they've got kind of songs made for vlog videos and all of this kind of stuff. Now the best thing that we found about this platform is its price. Now it's $199 per year for a subscription. However, as part of that subscription, you get unlimited access to all of the catalogs. So you have unlimited downloads and you can use each download in an unlimited number of projects. And you're, so you're covered for any commercial work, any song you can get there, you can use it in all of your work, you are done. They've got really good tools. You can make kind of quick collections and you can star songs and favorite them so you can come back to them later and build up little library banks for your own future personal use. Like, oh, these are all sad songs or these are uplifting beats. We think it's a great service. We actually use it. We use it for all of our kind of background music and like the background music playing right now would have come from Artlist. Here's the best thing. The link that we've put for Artlist in the video description below is part of the referral scheme. If you were to use the link in the video description below, you will receive two free months on top of your subscription. Not to be sniffed at, give it a little look down below. It will help us out as well. So that's it guys, that's where we get our music for our videos from. If this was helpful, give it a little like down below. Subscribe if you want to see more photography and video related content. And we'll catch you in the next one.